I am going to give some lactation cookies a bash because I didn't do this last time. This is pretty much everything I used. This one is the only one I really used last time. Welcome, if you've clicked on this video then you're probably as confused as I was first time round about what you actually need to kind of set up a breastfeeding caddy or trolley or whatever you want to call it. So in today's video I wanted to go through my setup, show you everything that I used, especially in the first time round. I'm about to be a second time mum, I'm about to have my second baby girl in about literally like four weeks so I'm getting everything organized getting set up for second time around I didn't have the smoothest journey the first time around I have made a whole video about it so you can watch that I've put the link in the description for you but yeah this time I wanted to be much more organized so I actually did quite a lot of extra research I've been refreshing my memory on on you know everything to do with breastfeeding I've been watching lots of YouTube videos recently on all of this sort of stuff and I wanted to share everything that I have put together with you guys today. Also, just in case you are new, my name is Charlie and on this channel, along with like mama tips and stuff like that, I do a lot of just lifestyle, real vlogs. It's kind of real behind the scenes. There's no performing here. It's what really is going on with a toddler. I'm British and I live in Australia with my husband, Tom. We have an almost two year old. We're about to have another baby. We like to go on adventures. We like to just keep it real, basically. I talk about everything to do with mental health, right through to, well, I don't know, cooking dinner. <laughs> it's literally a little bit of everything on this channel. So if you're not already subscribed, then we would love to have you in our little internet family. Come along, hit that red subscribe button, and let's get on with what is in my caddy. So as I said, last time I feel like I wasn't very organized. So this time I've decided to get myself an actual specific little trolley. It's, it has wheels. I got this from Target in Australia. So, and it was on deal, it wasn't even very expensive. It's got three tiers, so I've kind of got everything organized. Let's start with the top. Let's start with pumping stuff. So as I said last time, my breastfeeding journey kind of got off to a bit of a tricky start. I was pumping. I last time was using the Medela swing. Looks like that. I had the double pump, but this time around, not only do I have that, I'm also going to try the LV pump, which is wireless, which should be much easier considering this time around we have a toddler. So this just kind of fits in your bra and hopefully, I haven't used it yet, I don't know if it's going to work, but hopefully that will make things a lot easier because I won't be attached to the wall pumping and stuff like that. So basically what I've done is if I've put everything to do with pumping in this, in this top section here, I've got everything, but both pumps, we'll see how we go with that. I also have my Haka. I didn't use this the first time around, if I'm honest, at all, really. What I did use was these little um, kind of catch cups. They're by Medela. You can get them in other brands. They have a soft, like, layer on the outside here that you put in. You tuck it in your bar, and it basically just catches your letdown, and it was so helpful. I even used these after I'd had a shower, because when I'd have a shower, the warm water would like trigger my letdown. So as soon as I got out of the shower, I'd be like dripping milk. So I'd quickly put these in my bra to like catch that. Um, so that was a little bit crazy. But yeah, so everything in this top part is everything to do with the pump. And at the moment I've also, because obviously I um, am 36 weeks pregnant, I'm, I'm very close to starting to try and collect some colostrum. So I have got my syringes, my colostrum collecting kit ready to go. I'm going to try and do better this time at collecting more colostrum because we kind of ran out last time. I also have my water bottle on the top here as well because when you're breastfeeding, if you've done this before, you'd also know that it you're so thirsty all the time. So I just want to have my water bottle to hand so I can just grab it really quickly. Oh, by the way, if I'm out of breath, it's because, um, this. <laughs> My tummy is absolutely huge. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's go to the second shelf. This next level down is basically all my kind of breast care, as it were. This, um, basket here is full of 
all my breast pads. I've got disposable ones there at the moment, but this time around, hopefully, once my milk regulates, I'll be able to just start using the reusable ones. But I just, at the beginning, it's, it's a bit out of control, and I know that I won't have time to be doing the laundry and cleaning the, you know, reusable ones and everything. So we just got to go with what we can deal with and what we can make as easy as possible. Here, I have my creams. Now, if I'm honest, this one, is the only one I really used last time. It's just, it's, well, it's just the best one that worked for me. I did try using the Medalla brand, but I found it was a bit too sticky and it just didn't really work as well. And I'd also bought the Mama Earth, which was ridiculously expensive. Um, it's an American brand actually, so it was harder to get in Australia and I just didn't use it at all. I just bought that because I'd seen loads of people had that in their caddies and um, I just kind of thought it'd be good, but it just didn't didn't really work for me. Um, on this side, let me just spin this around a bit, we have some hydrogel packs. So when you, if you get cracked nipples, these are really good, they are, little um, kind of gel pads, you can put them in the fridge so they're like cooling and it's really nice. So that's kind of what I do as well, I'd kind of put them in the fridge and then you just put those in, tuck those into your bra and that really helps. Um, I've got backup cream here, got lots of backup um, nipple cream, what two of them there actually. Um, and then these were also really, really helpful. These are um, kind of like, well they're kind of hot and cold therapy for your boobs. You can put them in the microwave and they just heat up and they help to trigger your letdown. You basically hit, you put this part in the microwave and then you put them into the little cover here and then you can just tuck this into your bra. And um, I used those quite a lot actually last time. They were really, really nice and it was really soothing. So I definitely recommend having some of this, but you could just use like, you know, a heat pack. You don't have to use a specific one for your boobs basically. Um, anyway, and then down to the bottom layer. This is basically snacks because you get very, very hungry. I've got basically just some cereal bars. Um, I've got a load of naked bars. They're my favorite. You can't actually get these in Australia, which is very frustrating. Um, I brought these over from England, so I've just got a few of those. I'm hoping I might be able to get a few more. Just some regular cereal bars anyway, because um, sometimes, you know, it can be, it literally can be like, you know, three o'clock in the morning and you just need something. Then this time around, I am going to give some lactation cookies a bash because I didn't do this last time and I figured anything is worth a try, right? So I have bought some cookies from a company called Milky Goodness. I have got a packet of the Biscoff. I have got a packet of the double chocolate. I have actually tried one of these cookies already um, and because they, they've got a lot of oat in them, they're actually, they're very filling. They're not like, you know, just sweet cookies that you just get from like a coffee shop or something. They are, they're kind of, they're just different. So I've got quite a lot of those and we're gonna see how that goes as well. And hopefully that will, you know, increase, help to increase my milk. And something else I got from the company as well is this brownie mix. So I'm gonna make some of those when we get closer to the time. Um, and then I'll have some brownies as well. So this is pretty much everything I used last time. And as I said, I wanted to be more organized this time. I wanted everything in one place. It's on, a, a, you know, it's all in a caddy with wheels so I can just move it really easily from the living room to my bedroom. And it just, yeah, I'm hoping this is just gonna make me feel a little bit more organized about everything because the first time around, you know, everything was just, I did have, I did have all the stuff, but it was just all over the place. And I'd be, you know, I'd sit down to breastfeed and I'd be like, oh, where's my nipple cream? Or, oh, where, where someone can, someone quick, I'd be like, Tom, can you just quickly grab me some pads? Um, and yeah, it just seemed a bit chaotic. So this time I really, really wanna get it right. And I thought that having it all in one place Place, all organized would really really help the only slight issue I have is that having a toddler obviously snacks 
she already like grabs the snacks and takes them out which is a little bit of a crazy but um anyway i really hope that this helps you get organized too if i've forgotten anything that you use as well and you think that it might help drop it in the comments because then we can help all the other mamas out there um, and if you know someone, if you've just watched this and you know someone that is also pregnant and maybe planning on breastfeeding, then share this video with them. Let's share the love and, um, you know, try and help each other out as much as we can because it's a pretty tough journey, this whole motherhood thing. So, you know, we've got to stick together. Um, and yeah, as I said, if you're not already subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button because it does really help to support my channel. If you've got some value from this video, hit the like button and I will see you very soon.